Hi there, Trisha here, and I wanted to go over the trades for Monday, January 26th. I took one trade and unfortunately um, messed up and could have had a huge gain, but um, I didn't. I'm human, just like everybody else. But anyway, I'll show you that on the next, um, when we get to that chart. But I used two setups, one off a longer tick chart, one off a smaller tick chart, using three charts with indicators for confirmation before ever taking a trade or we pass. So anyway, go to www.easyeminitrade.com and check those out. This is the U.S. economic calendar, and I wanted to show it to you. It's a good habit to get into to check it at the beginning of the week, just so you're aware of what is coming up in the way of announcements. Anything with a star is realistically um, things that you should be paying attention to and not trade around those time frames. At least that's what I do. Um, and a reminder, you do have the FOMC meeting on Wednesday at 2.15, so definitely would not trade past lunchtime um, until after that announcement and the market quiets down. So it's just a really good habit to get into. Um, and you'll see on um, the next chart right here at 10 o'clock we had an announcement and you know the market shot up so usually you know around those announcements you really don't know what's going to happen it could go up could go down just depends obviously on the announcement so best just not to take a trade right around those announcements just wait a couple of minutes until after they're over um, yeah usually things quiet down within a couple of minutes after those announcements with the exception of the FOMC announcement now in the morning we were going up obviously and um, we did not have a setup <clears throat> excuse me here at 10 o'clock because we had the announcement so like I said I won't trade around that uh, then the price was coming down stayed under the moving average so we don't go long unless we're above that moving average so realistically we could not take a short until we were below both moving averages again these are just my rules and this is on our longer tick chart so once we get below both moving averages um, then we can start looking for shorts now we want to make sure that we're at 50 percent retracement so you take the high and the low actually was down over here somewhere um, far left um, it's not appearing on this screen but you want to just go 50% of that mark and then once it gets below that point then it's a trend change that's how I do it you can do it any way that you choose but I won't trade against the trend so for me once it gets past that 50% mark it's a trend change and I will take a trade if it sets up of course we still have to have all our under other indicators in alignment which of course is our price below um, our two moving averages and then of course it closed below the high from the day before so perfect that's that's what we want um, on this chart here what I did was um, to get my 50 percent retracement line I made an error and I took a low from pre-market hours and I will do that I will use a pre-market um, low where if there's like some real support there where it's a price that um, keeps getting hit keeps getting hit before market hours and um, unfortunately I took the wrong spot um, I would have liked to take the area around 740 yesterday morning so if you look at your chart you can see where that was so from 740 yesterday morning um, up to the high of the day um, at about 1 o'clock uh, 132 o'clock 50 percent retracement mark would have been here and so unfortunately the line that I used for my low of the day had my 50% mark here so I would not take a short until I got below this line here which had me getting in this short entry here which worked out fine we have divergence price going sideways entered at 829.25 and stopped out at 827.50 right over here for a gain of one and three quarters had I had my 50% mark drawn in the correct place I would have actually taken this short that was setting up right here um, and would have got in right on this vertical line here at 835.25 and that was around um, 149 yesterday um, afternoon on the 26th I'm actually taping this on Tuesday um, so that's where I would have got in and I would have had a huge gain of seven and three quarters but I missed it so again just an error on my part we had price going up indicator going sideways so we have divergence and you know just you know went brain dead for a minute and put the 50% mark uh, line in the wrong place 
So anyway, still had a gain of one and three quarters, and that is the only trade that I took. Um, the rest of the day, we really did not have anything set up. Um, you, you need to make sure that everything is in alignment, and you've got that trending indicator above that 20 mark. And, you know, some days it might seem that you don't get a lot of trades, and you don't, but you know, you're also not having a lot of losing trades either. And that's the key is that if you're just having a few trades a day or one or two trades a day that are winners, um, you're still, your ratios are going to be much better than, you know, if you're using a setup where, you know, you're taking six trades and of those six trades, you know, four are losers and two are winners. Um, you know, this is how I trade. It's conservative and, um, you know, it works for me and I'm, I'm very happy with it. So anyway, took one trade today. Um, for a gain of one and three quarters, and you can go to www.easyminitrade.com, and I will try to get um, a video done for today as well. Uh, have some time issues here lately, um, but I'm working to get caught up here with the videos. And please do not forget the FOMC meeting tomorrow at 2:15.